Hi, I'm Nardan Saray. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can populate your join lobby with Node.js server and game maker as a client. So without any further ado, let's begin. We have a button for hosting a game and we have a button for joining a game. So whenever we click on this host button, it will create a host. But for now, whenever you click on it, it's just creating a host. It won't go to host lobby, okay? So now, because we click on this host three times, it creates three hosts. And if we click on join, you remember it in game maker we add a breakpoint and in here we show these hosts that we get from the server in the watch and we watch it okay so when we right click and tell it to show as a ds list it give us all three hosts that we created and in those hosts it will get us the list of the player that is joined and the every player is a ds map that it has x and y in it and in this video i'm going to show you how you can populate your join lobby with these informations okay so let's just stop and go uh, go out of debugger and in here i want to just delete this and you remember, first of all, we have a list. So let's just get that list. If you go to your server, you remember on this get host function, we get the list of the hosts, okay? And we put it in these hosts, okay? And in here we get that, and now we have a list in here that called hosts. Like make this minimize. And in here, this host, we know that is a DS list, okay? And I wanna go through this list and create a, a button for all of those hosts right so what i'm gonna do in here i want to create a button in here object i want to call it obj host hosts button okay and in here you can see that i create this sprite in here i want to show a text on it so we can say host number zero with this much of player number this much of player has joined this okay so let's just close this and give this a obg hosts button a sprite okay like this and in create event of this hosts button i want to add a, a variable and call it host number okay and because i want to i want this host number to be different than this global host number i want to call it local host number okay and in here i just want to add equal it to an empty string okay and in here i want to add a draw event and first of all i want to say draw self and after that draw set realign to fr center and I want to do it for horizontal align as well. Draw set H align to FO center again. Because I want to draw our text at the center. I want to say draw set color to white. Next, I want to set the font for it. Set font. And let's see. We don't have a font. Let's just create a font fast. And I want to call it FN server, for example. It's just a name. I want to change the font to this Tahuma change the size to 50 15 i want to make it bold and i think that's cool now let's just use this font fn server okay and after that we can just draw our text draw our text x and y and the string we want to use this string to call local host number okay that at default it's just a empty string in here now that we have this obj hosts button you can see there is a s in here okay Let's just go back to our obg join and in here we want to populate our join lobby with this data and this button that we just create because you know this hosts is just a list i want to get the number of hosts okay so for that i want to say number of hosts is equal ds because it's list we can say ds list size and we give it the idea of these hosts okay and for testing what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just show a debug message and show this number of hosts okay and plus a string of this number of hosts and let's just run our game you know that we have three hosts in here join and in join if you go to game maker it can it show you that there is three hosts in here and you can see it it's, there is three hosts now let's just stop it delete this show debug messages we know that we get the number of hosts correctly so let's just create a for loop to create all of these hosts so right click in here and use this code snippet for for loop okay and i want to start from zero to number of hosts and each time plus plus the i and we want to create a button for every one of these hosts but before doing that i want to get the number of player and in that hosts so we should get the host first so for that we can say ds list find value and we want to find value in this hosts list in here 
and the index that we want to find is i okay so we will find all of the hosts okay and with this ds list find value we find the first host and after that second and after that the third host and we can get the number of player on this host by this so let's just say player number or we can say number of layers layers okay number of players is equal this host you know that it is just another list that has some map in it okay so again we can say ds list size okay we can use this size to get number of player in this host i hope it's not getting confusing so now that we have the hosts and we have the number of player we can just show a debug message in here and say host number plus a string host number that is i in this case plus has and here again plus a string number of players player in it so let's just check it out join and you can see the host number zero has one player in it host number one has one player in it host number two has one player in it because we didn't write join function we don't have more than one player but i will show you how you can create that function in future videos so let's just again delete this line of code we know how many hosts we have and each one of those those hosts has how many player in it okay and in here, now I want to create an instance of this uh, OBG host button, the button that we create in this video. So we say instance, instance, create layer. And, and I want to put it at the X location of 10. And for the Y, I want to do it um, at 10 again, plus I multiply by the height of this, that is 64. And I want to put it at, put the anchor point at the middle left okay so it will be here it will be easier to do it this way okay so let's just go back to obg join node and i multiply by 64 and again i want to plus it by another i multiply by 10 for example so it will create our obg host button with 10 pixel separation between them okay so this is our y and now the layer that we want to create it is instances i hope it's okay and after that, the object that we want to create is obj hosts button that we create at the in this video. And no, I want to put it in variable. I want to call it host button. Okay. And with this host button, let's just set the host number. Host button dot host number. Or we can just copy it from this host local host number. So it's always better to copy it from there because game maker doesn't have the system of the classes okay so with that we can set the host number the host number is i and at the end you know that we send this until we receive all the hosts so let's just copy and paste this when we create all the instances we can say did, did we receive the hosts to equal to true okay so we don't send it again so let's just run our game now our server is running and when we click on join, you can see it create three button in here, one for each one of the hosts, but I should position them correctly. It's not cool, right? So let's just go to our, um, to this async in here. I want to give a offset in here by 64. And I think it will be better now. I want to make another changes as well. And you can see it's cool, but the text is not at the right location. So again, let's just go to this obj host button. I want to change something in here. Okay. I want to show the number of player as well. So I want to call this local number of player. Okay. And equal it to an empty string. I want to copy it from here. And in here, what I'm going to do, like we did it in here, we say the host button that we just created, we want a local number of player to be number of players that we get it from here. And now we have the host number and the number of players. And now let's just again go back to here and in draw. And instead of just saying the local host number, I want to do something else. I want to say, let's just delete this. I want to say host a string local host number plus with for example with 10 player or one player plus a string local number of players okay so instead of just saying one zero one two it, sh it will show a text for us and hit join and it's not at the correct location again so let's just increase the x value in here let me see 
this defeat of this is this so let's just add 128 to it so let's just do that 128 you can position it better than me it's just for testing so hit join and now you can see the host number zero with one player host number one with one player host number two with one player at the next video i will show you how you can um, populate all of these buttons so whenever they click on one of them they can join that host okay so let me in here add a space in here so it will be better so again let's just run it again join and host number zero with one player host number one and whenever they click on one of these button they will be able to join and i will show this in the next video i didn't add um, the most enter and most leave so let's just do that fast i want to just copy it from here most enter paste it here again do that for most leave paste it in here and run our game it should work fine now join and you can see now we can click on them and when you hover over them it changes its color i hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button and it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much for watching bye